Today is August 18th, and today's quote is entitled, Success Just Doesn't Happen. Success is not something that just happens. You have to craft it. It's the result of a deliberate and conscious decision to improve. It's sometimes said that if someone's successful, they're just lucky. And usually what success is, I mean, that may be true, they have extreme karma and everything just, extremely good karma, everything just falls into place. But, but generally, it's a series of successive steps. It's a strategy. So you look at your strategy, like, like what do you want to achieve? And write it down on paper. What am I doing to achieve it? And look at it and say, does that look like it's going to take you to where you want to go? Because a lot of times, we just don't have the right strategy. So what we're doing is not bringing us the result, and we haven't really thought about the strategy. We haven't really looked at it. So if you want to be successful, you need a strategy written on a piece of paper that when you look at it, you say, yeah, if I do this, I'm going to get to the goal. Now, in Krishna consciousness, a lot of devotees obviously want to be Krishna conscious, and they don't chant good rounds. They don't read Prabhupada's books that much. They're not doing a whole lot to share Krishna consciousness. And those are three essential practices that we have to do. The path, the road, the tracks back to the spiritual world are paved with good japa, reading Prabhupada's books, serving Vaishnavas, and giving Krishna consciousness to others. So we all want to be successful, but there's a huge difference between wanting and being committed to following a process that's going to bring you there. So, you know, we all want to go to Vrindavan for Kartik. Okay, but you're going to have to get free from school or job or your responsibilities. You're going to have to have enough money to fly there, enough money to stay there. You're going to have to somehow make enough time away from whatever it is you do so that you can be there. There have to be steps that you take. And so you write these steps down, you look at it on paper, you go, yeah, this is possible. I can do this, I can do that. If you can't figure out the steps, to, you're not going to be able to get there because it's not going to be possible. So life is just like that. And so many times we're not taking the proper steps. We don't have the right strategy. And, and we're wondering, well, why am I not successful? Well, you're not doing something that would bring you to that level of success. So just think about what you're doing. Think about where it's going to take you. A lot of times when I visit temples, I say, why don't you think about what you're doing now in terms of where your, where your temple will be 50 years from now if you continue doing what you're doing. So you, you visualize, if I do this, multiply it by 50 years, where will I end up? And a lot of times when, when leaders do that, they realize we will end up in a place we don't want to be. So then the next question is, where do you want to be? And work back, what would you have to do now to be there in 50 years? You can do that with your life. Where do you want to be in the end? How will I get there? Work back. Otherwise, if I asked you, if you continue doing what you're doing exactly as you're doing it now, will it take you where you want to go? For a lot of us, yes. For a lot of us, no. If the answer is no, backtrack. Where do you want to be 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now? What do you have to do now consistently to get there? It's actually quite simple, but a lot of us don't think that way. We're just kind of habituated to do whatever we do. And whatever we do, may not produce all the results we want. So it's, just, it's actually quite simple, but a lot of us don't do it. So I hope this helps put it into practice. Where do you want to be? What do you have to do? What are you doing now? Where is it going to get you? If it's not getting you where you want to go, what do you have to do to get to where you want to go? Money.